Yo, what's up? I'm gonna teach you how to kick from crook today. This is probably by far one of my favorite tricks of all time. Maybe my favorite trick on a ledge. But before I do it, I've been putting so much effort into these videos. If you could hit the subscribe button and then shoot me a like. I know everybody asks on YouTube, but when you like the video, it helps the videos so much. And literally, I did 100 kickflip crooks today in like 100 degree heat. So please hit that like button and let's get into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Rob and today I'm gonna teach you how to kick from front crook. It's so pretty. Once you can kick the front crook really well and just get it in there, like you're kind of starting to set yourself apart. Um, it's a very refined trick. You need to learn a lot of tricks before you learn this trick. Uh, I would recommend you have front nose slide, front crook, nose grind, kick flip front nose. Uh, be able to kick flip up like a really tall ledge at your skate park. Just kick flip up on top of it because then you know your kick flips, you have the flick and the power to get all up on top of the ledge. And once you have that, I think you're ready to learn kick for front crooks. One thing I want to say, make sure you can front crook really, really well. I see a lot of people try kick for front crooks and they just don't have front crooks dialed. You might as well learn the basics and then work your way up because you really want to pinch it and flick it in there nice and grind the ledge a good amount. Um, and also when you're learning though, don't be afraid to like not grind that much and like try it on a little small ledge. Um, so. When you approach the ledge on this trick, this is my number one tip, and I'm just gonna get right into it. You need to go parallel, like this. You need to ride towards the ledge parallel. If the ledge is a little taller, you can take a slight angle, very slight angle. If you go at a huge angle, which weirdly a lot of people that teach you how to do this trick or do it like have trick tips, they tell you to go at an angle, and that's like a big no-no. And the reason is because you can miss, go over the ledge, and go into like a sideways nose manual, and you can fall backwards. It hurts a lot. You can get pretty like wiped out that way. Also, when you start to kick the front crook down, handrails, specifically round rails, if you take that harsh angle, like you're just screwed. You're gonna like pop into board slide. It's not gonna be a good time. So try to go real parallel, a little bit at an angle. You can take a slight angle, and if the ledge is taller, you can keep that angle a little harsher, but just try to keep it parallel and go really close to the ledge. Like, get close. Um, another thing you need to avoid is you think you don't have the pop or you don't think you can get all up on top of it. So when you get close to the ledge, you kinda, you kinda lean it back and you kinda push the kickflip into the ledge. And the same thing happens. It can go up on top of the ledge and you can slip back. So the trick to get around this and to keep yourself really safe is when you're going towards the ledge parallel like this, Try to pretend there's an imaginary line from the ledge to your chin and make sure your chin is right above the edge of the ledge, maybe leaning a little bit over the ledge. Even though you're like six inches away from the ledge riding parallel, try to kind of lean your, your chin over the ledge. That means when you go to flick onto the ledge, like your body weight is perfectly above it. So if you kind of mess up, you're just on top of it, you're not slipping back. Those are like my biggest tips and nobody really talks about that. It's gonna keep you safe it's gonna get the pinch good and everything. Another tip that a lot of people mess up is the pinch. And you should figure this out with front crooks. Um, I made a video on how to front crook, so go watch that. And I talk about this in that video, but I'm gonna talk about it again since it is a front crook, even though you're kick flipping into it. A lot of people can't get that pinch. You know, they can't get the board just totally like pinched against the ledge. And to fix that, a lot of people try to do something with their lower body they try to kind of pull their, their little uh, back foot up and like turn it and when I do them it does that and a lot of people it does that but I don't, I don't think that that's conscious. I think that just happens because it's pinching out. And the way to pinch it out is when you get on the ledge, it's all in the shoulders. So once you get your foot in that perfect little pocket where the ball of your foot is in the pocket above the wheel and your toes are hanging off, just kind of look behind you and that's gonna force your shoulders to turn, which is gonna pinch the board out. Now, I don't do that now because I have the muscle memory in my body to like just make it work, but when I was first learning them, I noticed I'd flip into it and it would start to turn to nose grind, and you don't wanna be featured on like that DOS pinch page for not being able to pinch your front crooks. That's really bad. So once you lock in, just look towards your back foot or your back shoulder, or whatever, and that's gonna turn your shoulders and then you're just gonna be totally pinched. And when you come to get off the ledge, having your shoulders turn doesn't really affect you that much. It actually might give you more of a snap out. So that's another tip to keep in mind. Now, when you're exiting the ledge, this is super important. Ideally, 
your board is gonna be totally pinched out and the ball of your foot is gonna be above the wheel of the skateboard. And you need to kind of use a little bit of leverage that you have to pop out. But since you're pinched in a crook, you don't have a lot of leverage. So the way you gain leverage is you push down on your wheel even harder with the ball of your foot and then you slightly lift up and, and jump. But to get that little leverage, your back leg, kind of like a door handle, straightens the board out. And with all that combined, bouncing off the wheel, jumping a little bit, and then swinging your back leg and kind of pushing forward, you just snap right off the ledge. Another thing, I guess, when you're going to the ledge, try to flick like just straight into the ledge. Like it's not like a kickflip back crook. Um, you don't really need to focus on dipping the kickflip. You just pop you flick towards the edge and then after about a millisecond then you just push your foot onto the ledge um, and since your flick is on the other side of the board and the ledge is on this side um, the board won't lag behind your flick like when you do a kickflip crook you have to flick it and hold your foot above the ledge on a kickflip back crook to let the board roll over or you'll just end up flicking and standing on the ledge and you're never going to get anywhere with kickflip front crook that's not really a problem because your foot's on this side the board rolls into the ledge before you have time to even push it in so it, it works perfectly um, make sure you wax the balls out of the ledge. Always wax the ledge. You want less friction. You're learning the trick. So wax the fuck out of it. Oh, another tip. Make sure you have new shoes and a good board. This trick requires a lot of power, a lot of flick. Like you have to have a really, really strong flick to get it in there. And you're gonna get really tired on this trick. This trick takes a lot of energy. So don't be like me and have these like blasted shoes because then your kickflip isn't going to be as quick and precise. Um, I know it's not always easy to have like brand new equipment all the time, but if you're learning kickflip front crooks, you're at a level where like you need to have good equipment because if you have like washed out shoes on this trick, your kickflip's going to kind of like not just flick well and you're going to get really tired really quickly and you're going to get super frustrated. It's a lot easier if you have like crispy shoes and a good board so you can get that friction on the flick and it just goes right in there. So those are my my tips on the kickflip front crook. If you like this video, um, wait, hold on. I should do this before the intro. Um, 